Hi, welcome back to my channel. Guess what? Another puzzle haul. Didn't you just see one? Yes, you did. Guess what else? You're going to see some of the same puzzles I showed just two weeks ago. Why aren't I just going to show you the ones that I have now? Well, first of all, look at the screenshot that I'm going to pop up on the screen. Okay, isn't that screenshot beautiful? So why not talk about these puzzles again? Now, if you haven't seen that video, now you get a chance to see these puzzles for the first time. And if you have seen that video, just bear with me because you'll see some of those and quite a few others. Nothing like puzzle hauls you see on real puzzle channels. I am a book review channel, but a person who loves jigsaw puzzles. There you have it. So let's get started. Let's point it the right way. This puzzle here is Three Little Pigs by Doddle. I bought Boston Market by Doddle maybe two years ago, but it's so vivacious, so intense, so bright, and so detailed that it was too intimidating for me to try. So I didn't try. And then I was going through my puzzles and I really wanted to do it, but I said, let me do this. Let's get an equally bright, equally intense, equally detailed jigsaw puzzle, but in a smaller piece size and see how it will be to accommodate myself to this brand. And that's what I did. I got this puzzle, put it together in less than a day. Loved it. Only 500 pieces, random cut pieces, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't think I've shown it on this YouTube channel, but I did show it on Facebook and Instagram if you want to see the completed puzzle. I gotta figure out where to put these. Next puzzle I'll show you. I'll show you the two boxes before I tell you about the puzzles. I got an email from a puzzle company that truthfully I had not heard of and it's called Blue Kazoo. And Blue Kazoo had a three for one special. If you buy three puzzles, I think you get 20% off of each individual puzzle. So it would have been a great deal. And it was either the earth or the moon but it was just so intense. Like, you know, you have the planet in the middle and then you have all that black. I said, nope, didn't want it. But I still went to the website anyway. And when I went to the website, I saw two gradient puzzles. That particular day, I was working on a gradient puzzle. In fact, I was uh, uh, assembling this gradient puzzle. So thanks to that email, I found these two. And this one is called the color wheel. And the gradient puzzle that I just showed you was difficult for me. It's not going to be difficult for a lot of people. Like, for example, I watch Amy Colors and boom, she, I'm not Amy Colors, Karen Puzzles. And Karen throws these gradient puzzles together almost in her sleep. I'll never be that talented, but I still am very drawn to them. So I even made a video of the gradient puzzles that I had at that time. So this may or may not be on that video. I don't even remember. But I think this might be a wee bit easier because it's got the black in the middle and the gradients aren't as uh, broke. Uh, like with the other puzzle, the whole inside was orange and red going down this way. One corner was green, one corner was pink, and it was it was fairly difficult for my skill level. So I want to see how I enjoy this one. Then part of that three puzzle deal, I still got a two puzzle deal. Instead of getting 20% off of each puzzle, I got 15% off of each puzzle. So I'm happy with that. Then I decided, okay, the second one they were offering on that deal, I'm trying to hold it down to reduce the glare, was called Triangles, another gradient puzzle. But I'm like, ooh, this looks even easier than the gradient that I was currently working on when I was thinking about making the order. So I got this one, very, very beautiful, beautiful puzzle. I almost started this puzzle today, uh, yesterday. This was, I was thinking about doing this yesterday, but I'm gonna show you right now why I did not even open this box. I was in my office diamond painting yesterday and I got a ding on my phone that I had a delivery. That delivery was, excuse me for bending down, I'm just picking up puzzles off of the floor. That delivery was two jigsaw puzzles that I didn't expect until the 16th. And yesterday I think was an eighth of the ninth. So I'm like, wow, they're here. 
So Tony went and got them. I didn't even finish the square of the diamond painting I was working on. I just put my drills down, I put my pen down, I came in here, cleared off the cat puzzle that I had just completed, put it between foam boards and did all of that. And then I opened the box and it's these two and I'll talk about both of them in a minute, okay? So let's talk about this one first. This one first, actually, it I have a video that is uh, uploading right now it's uh, doing its thing on YouTube. But this 3D puzzle, it's called Great White Shark. And yes, it's a 3D puzzle. And I've done it. And I did it, uh, an introduction and a conclusion, but I also did a time lapse in the middle. So look for that video. And I even did a pickup test video for TikTok, but I think I'll pop it into YouTube as well as a separate video. But it's my first 3D puzzle. As a matter of fact, tonight I am going to look up other 3D puzzles to see if I can find anything else along this nature. Now, this puzzle and the one that I'm about to show you next is from a company called Puzzler.com. Puzzler without an E. P-U-Z-Z-L-R dot com. They emailed me and said, hey, we've got puzzles. You want to take a look at our store? I said, I'll take a look at your store, but I'm trying to bring puzzling into my YouTube channel. How about you send me the puzzles and I act as an affiliate and we work together? The guy's like, hmm, I have to think about that. He got back to me. Yeah, okay, pick out two puzzles. I picked out two puzzles and that's what I'm talking about right now. So I am now an affiliate with this company and... You hear that? I don't want to make you like give you the eebie-jeebies, but it, this is a, it's pasted onto the box and it's a 3D slash holographic type image that translates right into the jigsaw puzzle itself. So look for that video. I also got this from that same company and this video I am, I mean, excuse me, this puzzle I am probably going to start tonight. If not tonight, I'll start it tomorrow. This one is called um, Kitten Something by Bob Giordano. Hmm. I thought it had a name on the box. I know. Maybe when I ordered it, there was a name. But anyway, it's Kittens at Play. We'll just call it Kittens at Play. Why don't we just call it that? And it's another 3D puzzle with that, this thing, uh, this holographic image pasted onto the box because the back of the boxes have flat images and every single piece in this pu these puzzles independently moves in a holographic manner in a 3d manner so i am very excited to do this they have two they have like a playful puppies and a playful kittens and i'm not calling it the right name but i just don't see the name on the box so since i am a cat person i got the cat version if you're a dog person and you like the idea of the 3d puzzles check that out so I will do a video on this one as well I will do a time lapse and all of that when I start this and that's why I'm kind of thinking I might wait until tomorrow now this one I definitely showed you oh, don't look at my bandage this one I definitely showed you before my Agatha Christie mystery puzzle this is another puzzle that I thought that I might want to start a, a right around this time, but I keep getting distracted by other things. Um, and this one has over 90 clues to spot within this one 1000 piece puzzle. And I even bought another puzzle on eBay today, Murder on the Nile. I, it's not by the same company. I don't know what it's going to be about, but it's coming from overseas. So I probably won't have it for another week or two. Just like I have another puzzle coming on e from eBay. And again, I won't have it for another week or two. But this is another mystery puzzle because I did a mystery puzzle already. Okay, let's get these down so I don't have to keep reaching up okay now I'll show you those in a minute this one I showed already this is called tiny bubbles it's a marine puzzle much like that 3d great white shark puzzle that I showed you but this is a turtle and I have a couple other marine puzzles from Buffalo this is from Buffalo games and I just love this whole idea now I'm kind of 
excited to do this one and I have another one that I believe is a shark because it's going to be flat compared to the 3d one that I did just did and the fact that it's a uh, 1000 piece versus a 500 piece so I I know that this will be a pretty challenging because you get a lot of blue water but then you got these fish that are pretty distinctive so we'll see how it goes now Chuck Pinson is one of my favorite artists, whether via jigsaw puzzles or whether via um, diamond paintings. And either or, I'm always doing a Chuck Pinson and I'm just either doing it in jigsaw puzzle fashion or diamond painting fashion. But this one is a little different for a Chuck Pinson puzzle. You see that little circle right there? It says 10 hidden images. I don't think I've ever done a Chuck Pinson jigsaw puzzle with hidden images. So that is why I got this one. Now I have another night and day puzzle. I don't quite see it and I'm not going to start digging. But Buffalo makes a brand of puzzles. They make a lot of different brands like Blank, Night and Day, Vivid marine they just boom 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 so this one is venice and you have a night and day scene in the same puzzle 1000 pieces so i had to get that and yes this is also one i've already shown on this channel now the ne of the next three two just came in but i don't remember which one i've already shown so i'm just going to show you all three again we're still stay sticking with buffalo and these are three amy stewart jigsaw puzzles now at some point i will probably make a video or a tiktok or something with all the various jamie's um amy stewart jigsaw puzzles i have because i just love amy stewart and i even have a ravensburger amy stewart puzzle i'll show you in just a moment this one is called majestic tiger grotto and by the way other than the 3d puzzles and the dowdle puzzle all these other puzzles are puzzles are 1000 pieces so i just want to get that set so i don't have to keep telling you the piece count so this is like i said uh Majestic Tiger Grotto. I thought it was beautiful when I saw it. So I'm like, I have to do it. I have to get it. So that one just came yesterday or today. I'm not sure. And this one, I believe, came last week. So you may have seen this one on this channel called Pickers Hall. I love her collage puzzles like this. I must have 10 to 12 and have done four or five, maybe three or four but I love these and I will keep buying them weekly even if I have to until I get most of them there's a couple I don't like but I do love her style and then this one just came and I thought this was so apropos because I used to be an, a colorist I colored every single day so when I saw this one coloring days with all the different coloring supplies and coloring pages and paints, I'm like, mm, I gotta get this one. So I got it. And again, it's another Amy Stewart. Love, love, love her art. And as a person, she's a beautiful person, just like Chuck Pinson. Uh, uh, as far as Amy Stewart is concerned, I've met her on Facebook and Chuck Pinson, I've met him on YouTube, you know, in chats. And they are lovely people and fabulous artists. My other Amy Stewart, and I think I'm going to get one more Amy Stewart uh, puzzle from eBay but, or, or Amazon. But this is the, one of the Ravensburger Amy Stewart I got, and this is called Vintage Garden, Vintage Summer Garden. And yes, I think this is also one I've already shown on this channel. And the reason I got this puzzle simply because a, it's an Amy Stewart. B, because it reminds me of Anna Green Gables. Reason enough to get this puzzle. I think that it's going to be challenging because it's a thousand pieces. But once I start, uh, my mind starts tracking the individual book covers. Like if I separate the greens from the yellows, from the blues, I think this will go together quite smoothly. And one more Ravensburger puzzle that I got 
and I am trying to gather these. Now these, this is one of the alphabet series. It's called Awesome Alphabet. This is the letter F. I already have the letter A. Um, and the thing about this one, this series is I think it only goes up to G or H and they're quite expensive because I have, I keep finding them overseas. I, I was able to get this one at a decent price, but the other letters so far, the shipping is triple the cost of the puzzle itself. So this is F. I have A and this is F. I've got all the other ones on a watch list. So if there's somebody in the US that is selling the other ones, then I will grab them. The last puzzle I got, see, I don't know where to begin with these puzzles. There's just not enough time because I diamond paint and I'm doing a miniature and I'm a reader and I'm a book blogger and I have, have to make content for this channel. But look at this puzzle. This is a Schmidt puzzle and it's my first Schmidt puzzle and you're getting a horrible glare because the shrink wrap is still on it. I love this puzzle and I have been highly encouraged to try this brand. And so it's my first Schmidt and it makes me think, sorry for the crashes. It makes me think of a puzzle that I bought while I was vacation. Oh, I just, I'm knocking everything over. I bought a puzzle while I was on vacation in New Hampshire. And it's very much like that puzzle, but I don't see it. I wish I could show you. I'm just going to stop the camera, find the puzzle and come right back. All right, so let's look at the Schmidt puzzle and then we're going to look at the White Mountain puzzle. This is the, now, there's a lot of Schmidt puzzles out there, right? But this one really appealed to me. So I just had to get it. Knowing full well that I bought this back in August when I was in New Hampshire and I've never shown this on this channel. So it also has a train in it, but it's a winter scene. So I'm going to wait until snow hits the ground here in Massachusetts. So I've got two puzzles with trains. I don't do puzzles with trains, but now I have two puzzles with trains. Here you have them. So, oops, sorry for hitting the camera. So I just wanted to grab this white mountain puzzle called Train Ride because of all the Schmidt puzzles that I could get to introduce myself to this brand, I had to get one with a train. So those are all the puzzles that I want to show you in this video. And I want to thank you for watching. And I want to thank you for watching my puzzle content, even though this is a reading channel. So happy puzzling, happy reading, happy diamond painting. Why don't we just say this? Happy with crafting and all the things because let all the things bring you joy. Alrighty, bye-bye.